Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. Let me know what you're thinking about all of this mess that we're in. And please, if you would, share this video out. It would help me a lot. Y'all, if you didn't see my 10 o'clock video last night, please watch it. I will link it at the end of this video. Before we get started, I want to say I do understand a lot of people is getting sick of stimulus talk. It's the same thing over and over again. I understand that completely. I know I'm the one that's reporting it, so I do understand it. But if you would do me this big favor, check out my 10 o'clock p.m. videos. We don't talk stimulus there. We don't talk politics there. It's just laid back, good fun. You ask questions, I'll answer them. Every night at 10 p.m., I have a late night with Walter talk show. Please check it out. I do it every night at 10 p.m. Okay, let's get started. Y'all, things are heating up. Uh, it's looking like well, I don't want to say it's looking like, but we can only hope that something happens before Election Day, but who knows? Y'all, Nancy Pelosi. Got to get a sip of water on that. Nancy Pelosi said that on January the 20th of 2021, Joe Biden will be inaugurated as President of the United States. She goes on to say when President Trump loses the election, he should accept the results like a man. Y'all, by saying that, by saying that, it proves that what we have known all along, that she is sacrificing the American people to make Donald Trump look bad. So she can get what she wants and show her hate and disrespect for the president and the pre office of the president of the United States. Y'all crazy Nancy has got to go. It's either her way or no way. She is saying many times the hell with the American people. It's time for her to go. And how can she be so sure that Biden will win? She just may end up with egg on her face. Oh well. If she has a face full of egg, it will probably be a big improvement. Crazy Nancy said, when the Democrats take control of the presidency and the Senate, it will be a big out change in outcome of the stimulus package. Again, she's proven the point that she is holding up progress for the stimulus deals to help the American people. Because this woman is so consumed with hate. She is eaten up with hate. Hate is, will kill her. Y'all, remember just a few days ago when Larry Kudlow said that Steve Mnuchin was getting very frustrated with Nancy Pelosi? But y'all remember, Steve Mnuchin has never showed it publicly. He's always been a gentleman. But apparently, Steve Mnuchin is reaching his boiling point. Steve Mnuchin has been very calm with the whole thing. Well, finally, Steve Mnuchin's gloves are coming off. And I think it's about time. He is now firing back at Crazy Nancy.
Pelosi. Uh, wait, he, he he wrote he wrote back to uh, Nancy Pelosi this morning. This is what he told her. He said that he woke up this morning to a letter that she had written to him, but sent it to the press. Y'all, she sent this letter to him and to the press at the very same time, at 12 midnight. Without giving him one minute to respond, she sends it to the press. Well, this really ticks Steve Mnuchin off, and I, I totally understand. She should at least give him time to respond. Steve Mnuchin told her that him and Cudlow has been talking, I mean, Mark Meadows, has been talking to her for the past 45 days, just about every day, in the attempt to reach a bipartisan compromise that would benefit the hardworking American people who has been impacted by COVID-19. Mark Meadows and I, he said, has dedicated endless hours to try and reach a compromise with you. And because your letter to me inaccurately describes the status of our current negotiation, I feel obligated to respond publicly. So he is going public with his frustrations now. I think it's about time. Way to go, Steve Mnuchin. Steve Mnuchin read her the riot act. I think it's about time. It's the only way this woman will understand anything. Y'all, all of this just proves what we've all known. This lady hates Donald Trump, and she's sacrificing the American people, the American people's livelihood, our jobs, our homes, and our lives. Everything we've worked for, she is willing to sacrifice it to get what she wants, and that's for President Trump to be voted out of office. And I believe this is for two reasons. Reason one, she hates Donald Trump. She's proved that time and time again. Reason two, she's fighting for her job because she knows if Donald Trump is re-elected as president, his first priority will be to get rid of her. It's almost worth voting for him, ain't it? Just to get rid of her. Y'all, we have to vote them all out. It's not just Nancy Pelosi, it's all of them. They all holding up progress, but Nancy Pelosi is the steering force behind holding up progress. This woman is consumed by hate. She is eaten up by hate. This woman is evil and she needs to go. So y'all need to get out and vote. Please do not miss this opportunity to let your voices be heard. No matter what side of the aisle you're gonna vote on, it don't matter to me. The thing that matters to me is that you get out and let your voices be heard. If you don't get out and let your voices be heard, you're giving up your right as an American to speak out. You're giving up your duty as an American to speak out. And I really believe that if you don't vote, you don't have the right to complain when stuff don't go your way. So please get out and vote. This vote is the most important of all votes of our life, and it will probably be the most important of the rest of our life. So please don't miss this opportunity to vote. Y'all, please check out my 10 o'clock Late Night with Walter show every night at 10 o'clock. Uh, if you missed it last night, I will link it at the end of this video. Also, I have that show every night and we do not talk about stimulus there. We do not talk politics there. We just have good laid back fun. Also check out my link in the description box below to get your books, your cookbooks, your business books. 
uh, my online mastery course, your stun guns, pepper sprays, and tactical knives. And please subscribe to this channel. Watch the video that's popping up here now. It's the last night's show. I hope you like it and make it a regular part of your evening to watch this show every night. I love you all. And until 12 noon today, keep faith in God that he will see us through this. We have a forgiving God. So please pray to God for our country. Pray to God for the leaders of our country, that he will forgive them for the way they have done us. And pray that he softens their hearts so they will have more compassion for the American people. Pray for the people that's been touched by COVID. Pray for the people that's been touched by the actions of our government. Jesus will answer these prayers if we all pray together. I love you all. Until 12 noon, ciao.